Hey, what's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. So today I'm going to be cooking you guys up the ultimate cheeseburger. Now what I've realized over the years about cooking burgers is that all the planets have to align. So you have to have a nice crust on your meat and your meat has to be seasoned properly and you have to have a nice toasted bun and you have to use fresh ingredients. That's all there is to it guys. I hope you do this because you are not going to regret it if you cook up this burger and you're going to be the envy of all your neighbors and friends. Let's get busy! Okay guys, so we got our patty going up and I'm just doing one right now at a time. Now, first key, get your pan screaming hot. I mean, it, you see how, I don't know if you can see it, but it is smoking right now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put our burger on here and we should hear a lot of loud noises, some pop, snap, crackle, pop. That's what you want right there. Now, don't smash it or anything like that. We're going to start a timer right now for four minutes. We're not going to mess with it at all. Just let it go. You're going to want to be tempted to smash it or move it around. Do not do it. Four minutes. All right, guys, it's been four minutes. We're going to flip. Look at that crust. Beautiful. Okay, guys, we're going to let this go for another four minutes. And at about the three-minute mark, we're going to throw a piece of cheese on there. Now, I also want to say, I know everybody was probably covering their ears a minute ago when I flipped this thing, when I took this piece of metal and I rubbed it across that cast iron. That is a myth. If your cast iron is seasoned properly, you can put metal on it all the, all the time. In fact, I clean all of my cast iron with chain mail. All right, we're three minutes in, and now I'm gonna lay my go ahead and lay my cheese on top. Now this is a nice piece of deli sliced Gouda cheese. Um, no reason why you can't use a sharp cheddar. Um, I just felt like having Gouda today. All right, guys, we're melted up pretty good. It's been four minutes, so now we're gonna just transfer over to here. Now, very carefully, we're gonna just let this rest for a few minutes. And while we're re resting it, we're going to take our bun. I got some clarified butter here. Just going to lightly butter our buns. Now, this bun is a brioche bun. I love brioche for hamburgers. It's got a slight sweetness to it. Um, you know, with the saltiness of the burger and everything, it just is a really nice flavor, I find. All right, so uh, we're gonna take that same, same thing, lightly put our down on here. Now, just want to say you could have, we could have used just the oil that was left over. Um, I like using butter; it just gives it a nice uh, nuttiness. I find. Okay, let's do this. Uh, just a few seconds. A uh, nicely grilled bun. Okay. Now, first. We got a layer on here, so this keeps the condiment from soaking in. So this is just a mayonnaise mustard mix. We're just going to spread that on both sides. All right. Whoa, this is going to be good. Burger. Sorry. Okay. Take our lettuce, and as Gordon Ramsay would say, you don't want it to fall off. You want to fold it. Right, just break it, set that on there. Okay, next comes the tomato, very important here. Salt and pepper our tomato. 
lightly. Boom. All right, let's do this. And to top it off, let's do one more. All right, let's try this. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. This is going to be a freaking explosion in my mouth. Are you ready for this? Mmm. Mmm. Cook them. Cook. Mmm. Sorry. Cooked in perfection. Nice medium rare burger. Delicious. Mmm. Yum. All right, guys. The ultimate cheeseburger. No way.